welcome to Morning Manor with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, how to respond to offenses. And they said one to another, Behold, the dreamer cometh. Now therefore, and let us slay him and cast him into some pit. And we will say, Some evil beast hath devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. Genesis 37, 19 through 20. In Joseph's story, he did nothing wrong, but he was persecuted and hated by his own brothers to the point that they sold him into slavery. The Bible teaches us that we'll have various kinds of problems here on earth. Some of these trials will be regular problems that are common to the human family. While the problems are specific to Christians, attacks sent from the enemy to discourage us. But the problems that we find hardest to understand, cope with, and overcome are the problems that have to do with our brethren. The Bible calls this type of problem an offense. In the Greek, this actually means a stumbling block, something that causes one to fall, something contrary to your expectation that brings disappointment. David in Psalm 55 puts it like this, For it was not an enemy that reproached me, then I could have borne it, but it was thou, a man of mine equal. We took sweet counsel together and walked unto the house of God in the same company. Offense is like a bait in a trap. It is harmless unless we feed on it, but it is deadly when it is consumed. It is the fact of a human nature that the closer the relationship, the more severe the offense. This is why problems in a marriage or with brethren can be so severe. Jesus said it is impossible to live in this life and not be offended. The question is not will you encounter this trap, but how will you respond to it? One of the signs of the end times is that many will be offended. If you notice in Matthew 24, 10 through 13, Jesus warns a false prophet immediately after his prophecy that many will be offended. He calls false prophets wolves because they prey on the wounded young sheep. False prophets tell people what they want to hear and not what they need to hear. Offended people are easy prey. Strong cities of ancient times will build walls around their cities to assure protection. These walls would keep unwelcome inhabitants and invaders out. All entrants were screened. Those owing taxes were not allowed in until they paid. Those considered a threat to the city's health and safety were kept out. Proverbs 18 reminds us, A brother offended is harder to be won than a strong city, and their contentions are like the bars of a castle. We construct walls when we are hurt to safeguard our hearts and prevent any future wounds. We become selective, denying entry to all we fear will hurt us. We filter out anyone we think owes us something. We withhold access until these people have paid their debts in full. Eventually, our walls of protection become a prison. At that point, we are not only cautious about who comes in, but so fearful of future hurts that we cannot venture on the outside. If left unchecked, offenses will turn into bitterness. Imagine how different Joseph's story would have been if he had yielded to the sin of offense. But Joseph refused to let another's sin affect his relationship with God. Joseph lost all his inheritance and freedom, but still had the right to choose his response. He chose forgiveness. If Joseph had been offended, he would later have killed his brothers. When he could have rehearsed his offense, he chose to reverse it. Joseph let God settle the balance instead of trying to do it himself. During his trials, Joseph could not see that his offenses were preparing him to rule and would result in his family's salvation. If Joseph had yielded to bitterness and killed his brothers, unfortunately, we today would not be saved. Bear in mind that Judah was the ancestor of Jesus Christ. Forgiveness is the only cure for offense. When we forgive, we release the power of God to bring good out of a bad situation. Romans 8 reminds us, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to them that are called according to his purpose. We often assign blame. Say, if it were not for this person, then I would have done this. My disappointment is their fault. But let me tell you this, child of God, absolutely no man or devil can get you out of the will of God. Only you have that power by being offended. The thought of the day, it might not be easy, but today I choose to forgive 
and not be offended. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. Hey, we make a miracle